pretty much like gaming one on one. I mean, you can't play without your controller. Uh, so it also represents the gaming culture because the designs of the controllers have actually changed a lot. So, for example, uh, there's this game system back when I was small, it's called the Nintendo 64. Uh, it was a huge controller, like the size of this big, it's huge, way bigger than the PlayStation controller. And, um, yeah, it's a the controller really changed since I was small, and uh, it's uh, like really high tech now. Like for example, there's a speaker in the middle of the controller, so in some games you can listen to like you know one of the characters speaking through the speaker, which has never been done before. And it's also a, like a lighter right here, so it, it pretty much tells you it's a. For example, if you're playing with more people. It, right, it lights up a, a, a specific color and it tells you what uh, player you are. And it also changes lights when you're playing, like it turns red if you're in a video game or something. So I think that's pretty cool. I like how they did that with the, the whole system. And why I identify with the culture? Uh, I identify with the culture because I invest a lot of time in it. You know, I play a lot. <laughs> like when I go home, I've been playing. So from when I get home, pretty much so. I go to sleep. Like sometimes I don't even do my homework because of this. And, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's really addicting, and I just can't get enough of it. And yeah, I just invest a lot of time in it. I've always have, and I always will. I would think, and uh, it's something that's always been a part of my life. And yeah, the second reason why I identify with this because I loved it since I was small. And this is something that's been in my life for all my life, and. I can't imagine life without it. it sounds kind of cheesy, but <laughs> that's you know that's pretty much it. It's, uh, this has gotten me through a lot of things. Like uh, this is pretty much my means of escape. I always play video games when I'm down or I'm feeling bad. Uh, usually playing video games just just blanks my mind, and all I have is fun when I'm playing this. So I like playing video games. I always have. And uh, I never had a lack of, lack of interest. Uh, I always like love video games. I always played it. And, like there was a time it was like around high school, like around junior year, senior year. Uh, I was I wasn't playing video games at all. So that was kind of like it was kind of hard for me because there was like point in times where I would be having a hard time in school and like it'd be difficult for me to like cope with stuff. So. Uh, that, that uh, I, I've always like wanted to play video games. So when I was turning 18, uh, my uncle said, "What do I want for my birthday?" And I just immediately said, "A PlayStation 4," because I knew this was gonna, you know, uh, entertain me and get me through different parts of my life. So yeah. Uh, in conclusion, I told you what the controller represents, and I told you why I identify with the culture. When I was small. So fun fact, uh, <laughs> uh, I've been playing since I was two, three. That's what I've been told from my dad. I've been playing since I was two or three. So it's pretty much 15 years of my life I've been playing video games. And it's also a way I, uh, I bonded with my dad, which I don't get a lot of right now. So that's why playing video games is really important.